Hey friends, Danny Blanchard here. I'm at Seattle Maritime Academy and I'm testing Goal Zero solar products along with their power banks, the Sherpa 100 AC and the Sherpa 100 PD. Uh, I'm heading up to a trip in Glacier Bay and I've had conflicting reviews and I just needed to test these things uh, before I get started. So here I've got the Goal Zero Nomad 20, Nomad 50, and Nomad 100 panels, as well as the 100 AC and the 100 PD. Um, I'm gonna be using the 100 AC primarily to do this test because I have a built-in watt meter, uh, as well as a charge controller that uses these, oh, what is it, 14 to 22 volt, uh, eight millimeter connectors. Uh, this 100 watt panel does not have a chain connection, so it cannot be chained from uh, from it to something else, but it can chain itself to the 50 or the 20. Kind of weird, but anyways, that's something I've noticed. Also, another thing I've noticed about the 100 AC is that when it is plugged into the eight millimeter charge port, the 60 watt PD, the USB-C PD output, becomes an input only. It won't discharge through the 60 and the 100 at the same time. It will only take in on the 60, but it will discharge out on the 100. So a little weird if you want to hook up multiple, use both of your PD uh, outputs. So anyways, I'm gonna do a power test here. I found that the, the charge controller on the 100 AC or the panels, I can't tell what it is, uh, will do a ramping feature where it won't give the full solar power immediately. It'll start bringing it up by like a, a watt or two uh, basically like a watt every two or three seconds um, until it gets to its full power and show like full bars across the bottom. Uh, that could be four little bar sections and an arrow. But anywho, um, I'm gonna hook it up to the 100 first to see how that ramps up. The time right now, I'm about 11.30 uh, a.m. on July 24th, 2024. So if you wanna nerd out on solar levels, but I can tell you right now, clear blue skies, fireball of a sun, uh, in every direction. So this is about as good a power as these things are gonna get. Um, the angle, I have them all pretty much fixed at the same. Uh, I've set the, uh, yeah, just basically the 100 and the 50 on their stands at just the full on stand position, no tilting or whatever. And then I adjusted the 20 watt panel to match because uh, it has just some clicks. It doesn't use the same fabric style. So uh, we're gonna get this going and I don't know, why not just do it in one take? So here we go. Take this 100 AC and plug it into the solar port. Sorry, the 100 Nomad. And then maybe if we crawl in here, we can see the wattage displayed. So if you can't see it, well, three and seven, nine, so you can see it's just that arrow bar right here saying, okay, I'm taking in 11 watts, 12 watts of power now. Now there's the second second bar in addition to the arrow and it's just ramping up slowly. So, you know, you can look at the, your scroll time bar here to see, you know, how much time has gone by since we uh, started this video or since I plugged that thing in, but you'll see it starts ramping up. Now, another thing to get back to the the 100 AC, see how the 60 watt port is blue? That means it's on input mode only. So this won't discharge any power. And that automatically switches no matter what mode the switch in the back is set to, whether it's in or out or auto, this will just turn to the blue input only and you won't get power out of this. Your USB A's will still work at, I believe it's 12 watts as their output power. And you can get the full 100 out of the 100 watt port. Um, but yeah, you can see we're up to, uh, what are we at? Two bars and an arrow and that's 29 watts. Now we're up to 30. So this takes a little bit of time. I've noticed up to two minutes sometimes to get up to full power. Um, so don't just plug this thing in the back and be like, wow, this panel's crap. Um, because that's not really gonna be an accurate representation of what the panel can do. So now we're at three bars and 37 watts, 36 watts kind of floating there. And I'm not drawing any power out of this currently. Um, with the 17% battery, we should be able to put the panels full power or an external chargers full power into this. Uh, so basically up to 60 watts input and it should hit that. So if this 100 watt panel is producing at least 60 watts, we'll get that 60 watts. Uh, if it goes over 60 watts, theoretically, 
this thing should limit the solar panel as far as its input and we should just get that. Okay, so now we've got four bars and an arrow and we're at 48 watts, 49 watts. And I don't know if it hit 50 there earlier. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, but if you get to a higher charge percentage, like if you're above uh, 75%, I believe is where I noticed the, the reduction coming in when I used a wall charger. I've got a 65 watt wall charger uh, to bring this thing back up, up to speed when I'm on AC and it throttles the wattage on the wall charger when the battery gets up to 75%. So if you're over 75%, don't do benchmark tests to see if your, you know, solar panel that puts out 100 watts or 5 million watts or your wall charger that does 240 watts, if that's actually putting in. This thing's always going to limit it to a 60 watt input no matter what the thing is that you've got hooked up to it. Um, but that's assuming that the battery is below about 75%. Uh, EVs, uh, like our Chevy Bolt, uh, they start throttling down the charge current when you're doing DC fast charging uh, at like 50% uh, battery state of charge. So there may be something in the BMS on this that will limit that, but uh, right now we're seeing 53 watts and that seems to be fairly stable. Uh, I guess it has been creeping up a little bit here, but we're at the uh, four bars plus an arrow. And in my experience, I haven't seen a fifth bar in addition to that arrow. So I think at this point we are at the solar capacity that this thing's seeing. So, you know, a hundred watt panel that's putting out 54 watts, it's like just slightly over half, which I'll tell you from my observations, these panels doing okay you know good sunlight the best you think you can get position clean etc do anywhere from 50 to maybe at the most 65 percent of their rated output and you know the companies will tell you like they have their disclaimer that says oh you know if you go uh in anything but like perfect lab conditions you may see that uh depending on the angle time of year temperature etc that the performance will vary um yeah but here you go here's a real world example it is probably 70 75 where i'm sitting right now in direct sunlight the the 100 ac is in the shade it's cool like there was no heat on this thing when i plugged it in and there's no heat being generated now we've got about a 10 knot breeze uh, so it's pretty cool uh, in general and the, the panel faces are warm obviously but uh you know this is summer sun it's not directly overhead um like i said it's about 11 30 probably 11 45 now but uh but anywho so i think we've hit the top here for the goal zero nomad 100 in the 100 ac so i'm going to unplug this and we're going to move over to the 50 uh the nomad 50 so pause for a second here all right here we go again now you can see that we're no longer plugged into the uh the nomad 100 and now we're plugged into the nomad 50 and interestingly enough this thing came up to pretty full power rather quickly so we're at two bars and an arrow and 33 watts. So this is over 50% uh, of its capacity uh, to, as far as output goes for this panel. So I don't think there's that like ramping up that happens as quickly on this. So I don't know if that's a charge controller in the 100 AC that basically like needs to get warm before it allows full power pass through from the panel or if there's a timing circuit that says hey if the charge input has been removed and the time has been less than 10 seconds or something feel free to ramp up to full power panel i don't know maybe it does but anyway we're seeing 33 34 watts here i don't anticipate this going up uh any because from my other tests this is this panel this is like actually i've never this is the first time i've seen over 32 watts um so yeah i think 34 is our max here we're not going to see much more than that uh out of the nomad 50. all right i'll pause again and we're going to move over to the nomad 20 panel all right so now we've got i don't know why this a plug that's for the nomad 20 but i've got 
the Nomad, sorry, the Nomad 50. The Nomad 20 is now plugged in to this here AC100 and we're getting, well, one bar and the arrow and 13 watts out of this panel. Yeah, so there you have it. Like these things barely put out really much, not much more over 60% of their capacity in pretty dang good sunlight. And that's that. Now, the fun thing is since I've got these both sitting here, uh, if I can prop this up, it'll stay up. Here we go. I'll just set the camera like this. Uh, I'm gonna chain these together because geez, like a 20 watt panel and a 50 watt panel, they should be doing better than this. So I'm gonna hook this chain board up. Boom. And we're gonna see what our juice pops up to. So now we're gonna have the 50, which got up to 34 watts and 13, so 34. We should theoretically on this thing get up to 47 watts if this all works like it's supposed to. So it might take a little bit of time for these guys to wake up. And that's that's why I think that maybe this is solar panel based i don't know it's it's a mystery to me like how quickly the power comes on um with these things after they've been hooked in because yeah we're still floating at 13 watts as if this thing was just oh wait what did i just do ha huh, i just hooked this panel to itself never mind okay so that was dumb. I have to hook this to the correct port over here. Okay, now that that's hooked in, we should see our power coming up. Maybe. I expect you to come on this someone else to Nope, stand by. Okay, here we go. So now we're starting to see the wattage come up now that the 50 and the 20 are chained together. And you know, they'll say like, well, which one is it chained to or which one are you feeding from? Currently I'm taking power in from the Nomad 20 which has the Nomad 50 hooked to it. So it really shouldn't matter. This is just pass through parallel voltage. So yeah, I don't really see a limit why you would need to use the bigger panel as the chain panel, but now we're getting 29 watts, 30, and maybe a little bit more. All right, well, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I think we have an idea what these things will do.